this recording shows what happens when you go to that link from that Chase Bank phishing email. So that's the link. That's the actual link you're going to go to if you click on that, you know, the Chase Online link. So we can see Firefox is nice enough to tell us that it's been reported as an unsafe site. I'm going to go ahead and disregard that. Now you see that this page comes up that looks exactly like Chase Bank's online login. Well, all the bad guy's doing here is he takes a template of the bank site and then everything is the same except for this little login area. So, say you do get fooled, you don't notice that the link is not Chase Bank, it's just Jennifer Bain or whatever, you know, the link would be. And you go ahead and put in you know your your user ID and your password and hit this logon thing what they're most likely doing on the back end of the web server is storing that information away and sharing it so anybody can get into that account now or your bank account so when I click on that login thing you know Firefox is nice to tell me that you know I'm going to another bad site but you can see that it comes up with this profile this fake profile page we're still at that Jennifer Bain you know site we're not on Chase and if you got fooled to put in your username or your 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 name and your home address, social security number, and your ATM card and your ATM pin, you know they're storing all this information away too and reselling social security numbers on the black market, ATM card numbers with pins. And uh, if you do put this information in and decide that's not your bank site, you're gonna have a pretty bad day from identity theft point of view. So if you click update, what this bad guy does is they just redirect you back to the Chase site, the actual Chase site. So you can see here is the real Chase site. And uh, the reason they do that is so when you finally do figure out what you've done, you might think you were still on the Chase page when you really weren't. So just be, be aware when you go to different sites from emails, check them out before you go to them.